opinions and stories around the game we love told by your favorite storytellers stay up to date with all things cricket subscribe to crick boss's youtube channel and press that bell icon now joy we say it every time he steps out i'm so glad we the management and everyone was generous to let dk go and play some cricket absolutely and i was just thinking not only are they generous the kolkata night riders were looking at the generosity that they have both towards bangalore in so many ways first you have dinesh kartik and then you have shahbaz ahmed who plays for bengal literally from your backyard he's gone so the two guys who play starting roles are basically one is from kkr one is from bengal and these are the two guys who got them across the line so absolutely fascinating innings and i think that 14th over from somebody of the quality and class of ashwin 21 runs there that was the game that was where dinesh kartik finally stepped on the gas and that 67 run partnership was absolutely spectacular yeah they speak the same language but in that over it was dinesh kartik who had uh, the wool over his tamil nadu mate but shon two things joy has already mentioned the over where he hit ashwin now was there a case of yuzvendra chahal maybe coming back in over too too late and also navdeep saini the one bowler they could have targeted being sort of put up there with a nice little target yeah i think what you do as a captain is when you're in a situation like they were you're almost dominating you've picked up the five wickets and they're under pressure um and that's what made that over of 21 so special is it's almost like it's unthinkable for someone to take that over on you know they're more like well let's form a little partnership let's knock it around let's get 20 let's get ourselves into a position and then at the back end that hammered away i mean it was assisted by that no ball obviously it ended up being 10 in two deliveries uh, i mean one delivery rather than just the the one boundary but yeah he came out and played fearlessly did uh, dk and um, it was just fantastic to watch i think he settled into a role there too you know maybe at the other franchises where he's been he's always been looking maybe i can get up the order maybe i can bat at a different position but he seems really accepting of the fact that I mean, he actually sometimes only goes in at seven, seven, sometimes even eight. Um, and but he's he's focused on what that role is and and how he's supposed to play it. And I think uh, over the years, I mean, even the years that I work with him, he wasn't always the calmest customer. You know, there was a lot going on. He was he was trying to fiddle around and try and do different things. Whereas this time around, from what I've seen so far in his knocks, he's very calm. Uh, he got a hundred in that final. I can't remember what final it was. When one day before we were working on the South African series but I think just mindset wise he's in a really good space um and that's so important to have someone in that space of mind at the back end when it comes down to the crunch comfortable one in the end I mean they set it up nasty Faf Duplessis played great up front that partnership was important um that was one of the cases where the coaching staff you look back and and Faf's dismissal for example and you say why 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 did you hit it in the air we were so far ahead of the rate it was such a good start to the innings um was there any need for you to take that risk particularly after what unfolds down the line but uh yeah they were in real trouble and dk needs to take all the applause yeah i'm, I'm trying to even think of an analogy for something that has a brilliant top and a brilliant bottom but nothing in between i'll come up with it at some point but joy there was a stat <laughs> that amazed me that they talked about during the game Yes, of course, his ability to finish and the boundaries he hit, the way he hit them. 209th consecutive match in the tournament for Dinesh Kartik. He's missed one. He's missed one game in, I think it was 2008 uh, for, for Delhi. That's it. Just the one game he missed. How? I mean, how do you achieve that? No, no. He has remarkable fitness standards. And, you know, I get completely what Sean is saying. I've seen him fidgety. I've seen him. He's always been talented. He's always been talented. Remember, when that 2005 selection of Dhoni happened, it was a hairbreadth between him and Dinesh Kartik. They were there together. And then something happened and Dhoni took over and, you know, Dinesh is Kartik's, you know, wicketkeeper batsman. Therefore, you're more wicketkeeper than batsman, then your chances fade away. But the way he has rediscovered himself, the most important thing about Dinesh is he's enjoying himself now. So once Kartik starts enjoying himself, he's, he's sitting, he looks comfortable, he looks happy. And he looks like, you know, if I win it, I win it. If I don't, I'm still delighted to be still playing the IPL. That's the spirit with which he's playing. And it makes so much of a difference. And it doesn't hurt that he's one of the finest finishers in the game. He practices this all the time. He, you know, scenarios, he's 
Polly, he's your man. Scenarios.com <laughs> is what he plays in the nets all the time. And all he does is scenarios.com. Yeah, I think I think what the, what the key to that is, you know, a lot of people will say to us, "Well, what do you mean he's now calmer? What do you mean he's now worked it out?" So it's just a simple assessment of, for example, you need ten and over. Okay, you hit one boundary. You don't even go for a maximum. You knock around four singles and you get a two in as well. You've got your ten. So just to have that thought process in the back of your mind that hold on, unless I need twenty four and over, I don't need to go helter skelter. I've just got to, and even if you say I'm looking for 12s, that's one maximum singles and a two. So it's just that comprehension, I think, and, and that often only comes with maturity and age. Um, and the important thing about this is, is, is the fact that you're at the crease, but he's a senior enough a player to communicate with the other guys around him as well. So just say, listen, let's not panic. We only need one boundary, a couple of singles, and we've got what we've required for the over. And that just simplifies things. And then the pressure of battle. Sometimes the simplicity is not always the approach that people take. They can sort of overcomplicate it. So I think that's where he must be playing a part as well.